Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us on 41 Action News Midday. I'm Curtis J. And I'm Zhao Zhao Shen. We're halfway through your Wednesday. All right, uh, thank you, Brett. And right now, police are working to figure out who downloaded child porn using a church's internet. And Jackson County law enforcement taking computers and electronic storage devices from St. Anne's Catholic Church. And investigators reportedly found two downloads of child porn back in February. The IP address used is registered to the church. It is possible though, that someone downloaded the porn outside of the church building because a wireless network was not secured. More questions inside the Supreme Court today and more demonstrations outside as the court looks at whether the federal government can deny benefits to gay couples in states where their marriage is legal. It's the first time the court has dealt with this Supreme Court. Today, a proposal to open Kansas City, Missouri jobs up to more people could move forward. It is all part of the ban the box movement to take away a question on job applications, asking people if they've been convicted of a crime. Authorities make a heartbreaking discovery inside an apartment near Newark, New Jersey. They're investigating a report of a foul smell yesterday. The brother of Oscar Pistorius was in court today for the start of his homicide case. Carl Pistorius is charged with the death of a woman in 2008. It was a road accident. Carl Today we have a warning about cyber fraud involving your television. Smart TVs offer computer functions, including internet connection. That's how hackers are not only getting confidential information about you, but might be able to see you too. Smart TVs are quickly becoming big sellers, allowing you to browse through the internet, download apps all on a giant screen. Right now, police are looking for a man who attacked a student at the Metropolitan Community College's Longview campus in Lee Summit. A female student telling police that the man attacked her yesterday morning inside the school's cultural arts building. Police are looking for a man who's about 5'8". Uh, he was wearing a dark hoodie and gloves, a deep voice, also carrying some sort of weapon at the time of the attack, and he took off running east away from the school. If you have any information about this, call the MCC Police Department at 816-604-1200. There's also a lawyer for the city of Birmingham Alabama that says that the sign that fell on top of an Overland Park family was never inspected by the city after Cruz put it in. Ten-year-old Luke Brussett was killed. His mother critically injured. The family was on their way home from a spring break vacation when that sign fell. It was newly installed. Today, the Kansas Senate will take a final vote to expand the number of public buildings where concealed weapons are allowed. This vote will determine whether the measure passes and goes to the House. Now, the House already approved its own version, which would allow local school board members and state colleges to designate certain employees to carry concealed weapons. The Missouri House has turned down a proposal to expand Medicaid. Governor Jay Nixon was in Liberty yesterday trying to get support for this idea. The Affordable Care Act calls for the expansion, but a Supreme Court ruling allowed states to decide yes or no. A bus driver lucky to be alive this morning after a lamppost just smashed right through the windshield of his bus in China. Look at this video, folks. Let's look at this together. Watch this. Ah. Yep, a security camera captured the moment when that large blue pole just smashed right through the driver's window. Somehow, you could see, though, he did dodge the pole just in time. He's alive. Now, this pole was sent flying when it was hit by a car from across the road. Uh, the pole ruptured the driver's spleen, though. Uh, he is expected to make a full recovery. Look at that pole go all the way into that bus as far as it could. Man, luckily, other people weren't hurt here.